If you are looking to heal self-abandoning patterns or patterns of going after people who don't want you or who don't give you the kind of love, attention, or affection that you know you need, this will help you. On my journey to heal those self-abandoning patterns and the patterns of really seeking someone to choose me, someone to prioritize me, someone to make me feel like I'm important to them, someone who just loves me in the way that you see in movies where, you know, it's that kind of love that would make you feel like, oh, it's impossible for me to get that. On that journey, a very distinct memory from my childhood came up and it was life-changing for me. I don't remember the exact age, but it would have been at around eight, nine, maybe 10, I'm not sure, but I was staying with my aunt because my parents weren't around at the time and it was the night before a very big religious celebration that we had where you know you get gifts or money the next day but in this case it was gifts and at that time i was playing with my cousins i will never forget this moment my aunt walked into the room and told her children to go go downstairs to the family room and told me you stay here. This is family time. <clears throat> wow. This is a very hard story for me to tell. So I remember just sitting there in the quietness. They're all gone. And then I started hearing them laughing and opening gifts and saying, look what I got and look what I got. And I'm just sitting there. I remember exactly where I was sitting. And all I kept thinking was, why can't I have that? And that wasn't the gifts, it wasn't the anything that they got. It was the feeling of being part of something, the feeling of being important to someone, the feeling of, wow, someone prioritized me, thought of me, got that for me. But as a child, you don't know how to put that into words. All I kept thinking was, why can't I have that? That was love, belonging, feeling like I'm important to someone or to something. So what did I do for the next 10, 20, even more than that years? I looked for someone to prove to me that I'm worth that. I'm going to make a part two. I spent the next over 20 years of my life looking for someone to give me that, to give me the love, the feeling like I'm important to them, the feeling of I'm a priority to them, I'm chosen by them. And at the time, because I was a child and didn't have the right information, the right knowledge, the right words to put to it or to say, hey, that adult in my life shouldn't have done that. I just internalized it that I am not worthy of all of those things. And so instead of spending the next 20 years trying to prove to myself, through myself, that I am worthy of all those things, I chased that also from external sources because it was the external sources in the first place that taught me that I don't deserve that. And so I thought maybe if I find a person who will show me that I deserve that, then I can change that belief, I can change that ending of the story. But ending after ending in my life went back to the exact same belief. I don't deserve that because I was still looking for the answer outside of me. I was still looking for someone to correct that belief for me. But once I was able to identify my why can't I have that story and understand what that was to me, what it was that for my whole life I'd been chasing after, I realized that the way I was asking the question, why can't I have that, showed me that it was impossible. Why can't I have that? And I changed the question to, why don't I have that? And once I was able to do that, I could separate my worthiness of that 
from the experiences that taught me that I don't deserve that. I learned that that, the love, the belonging, the feeling like I'm important to someone is achievable. I just don't have it yet. So in this way, I can validate for myself how that story impacted me as a child. And as an adult, I can go back to that child and give her a hug in that moment and tell her, you deserve that. And I could do that myself. And you can do it too. So ask yourself, what's my why can't I have that story? And begin your healing like I did.